What up though, Phil G's, and welcome back to Luke G's Phil Review. We are back at it this time, uh, taking a look at eight players from the New England Patriots that the Lions would give strong consideration to add to the team if they are released or up for trade. Uh, in this video, I will give you the logic behind my picks um, and, and hopefully give you some contents with it. Uh, but again, just want to make sure you are able to follow. First up, as you can see, is Ted Carr's offensive lineman. Now, you may be saying to yourself, Luke, why would they do this? Well, the answer is more simple than you may think. Carr's is a six foot four, 305 pound offensive lineman who's only 26 years of age. He was drafted in the sixth round. Here's the benefit of this guy. He can play multiple positions on the offensive line. But why would they attempt to put him up for trade or release him? Well, for starters, his contract. If you were to go and look at Ted Carr's contract right now, uh, one of the things you're going to notice is he is in the last year of his contract. And on top of that, if they cut him, they save $720, $20,000 to cut him. They don't take no cap hit. There's no risk here. This is all just free money. Um, not to mention, they have used a number of draft picks recently to add other offensive linemen, and they just traded for two. You heard me, two offensive linemen. That tells me that they are gearing up to keep that quarterback upright, and those guys on those last years of their deal could be seeing the door. Next up, we have James Frentz, offensive lineman. Now, you're going to see a trend here. You're going to say, well, he's so small. He's only 6'2", 285. He was undrafted. He's 30 years old. Yes, yes, and yes, and more. But again, the logic is that the Lions are going to try to do their best to add people who is familiar to the head coach. Everybody knows that we have had a lot of ties with the New England Patriots. And for the most part, it has shown a little bit of success. But this lineman brings a little versatility himself. And here's another reason why they are going to look at him if he is cut or up for trade. Preferably in this case, cut. Let's start off with Mr. James Frentz's uh, contract. Again, he is on the last year of his deal. And that means that if they cut him, they get $730,000 back into their cap. Now, we're going to get deeper off into what this all means, but I just want you to be aware of why these moves will be made. Next up, we have cornerback Jonathan Jones. Now, if you are a Lions fan and you watched any of these preseasons and you watched anything, you know that the Lions can use a little help at cornerback. And you may be saying to yourself, well, he doesn't fit the mode of a big cornerback. Yes, but he knows Matt Patricia's system. And Matt Patricia likes guys who knows his system. Not to mention, he has a little speed, okay? Um, so not the, not the most killer guy, but here's what makes him special, okay? Um, here's a guy that the Lions know can come in and play that fourth cornerback spot and know what to do without having to have all this overly complex explaining of what's going on. So let's look at his contract. Now, as you can see, he's 25 years of age, and guess what? You're going to see a trend He's on the last year of his contract. <laughs> this is a trend, people. At 26 years of age, if they cut him, they get back almost $3.1 million. It's three point, uh, it's $3.95 million, but at the end of the day, that's a huge chunk of change to get back for a player after they just went out and drafted a cornerback uh, from Vanderbilt. Uh, I think it's Joanne Williams. So he could be easily on the chopping block. This is food for thought. So if you're saying to yourself, well, you're just going to pick everybody with a one year in a contract, that's part of the equation. But there are other little notable things that stand out for me. Next up, we have Elandon Roberts, linebacker. Now, this one is a long shot. He would have to probably be put up for trade. Uh, but he's 25 years of age. He was drafted in the sixth round. 
um, six feet, 235. And given the fact that they definitely want more depth there, I can see this happening. Now, don't get me wrong. The New England Patriots love this player. However, however, New England has shown that they do not fall in love with players. They fall in love with systems and things that fit the system. So why would he be up for trade or possibly cut? If you know he has the potential to be the starter, and more than likely probably would end up being the starter if, if things go a certain way. But I'm just I'm simply putting it out there. If for any reason this man come up for trade, do not be surprised if our head coach and our general manager, who are formerly from New England, decide to take him. So we're looking at his contract, and as we look at his contract. What do you know he's on the last year of his deal? He literally is going to give them a $25,000 cap hit just for releasing them, but it saves them two, uh, two million and $25,000. That is a lot of money to release this guy or trade him. Now, if you trade him, you know, you can get value back on your pick and you can do some other things a little bit different. But nonetheless, there is still opportunity for this guy to be had if he is released or cut. More likely, um, I mean, released or traded, but more likely he'll have to be traded. Next up is a guy that I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his last name. We're going to just say Obi, uh, a six foot four safety uh, who's 224 pounds. He was drafted in the second round. Uh, out of Connecticut, 25 years of age, uh, a guy who got speed, ran a 4-4, um, and it's one of the things that you look at and you say to yourself, hmm, why would they get rid of this guy? Well, we just talked about it. Let's look at the contract. The contract says that, what do you know? He's on the last year of his deal. And on top of that, to, to release him, gives them a hundred thousand dollar cap hit but they save five hundred ninety three thousand dollars you cannot beat that so i think that puts him up for that 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 value now when he was originally drafted by the raiders they released him and moved on and he has been given his shot but guess what in matt patricia's system this guy would be playing a little bit of linebacker. Imagine a guy who runs a 4'4 four four at 6'4", four, 224 pounds, playing in the spot, which means people who have previously played in that spot, like Tavon Wilson, and who's soon to be playing in that spot, like Will Harris, will be now having a little bit of a running mate. So I just look at this. Now, the next couple of guys I'm going to introduce are what I call a little bit of honorable mentions in a way, but I think these are some guys who can definitely be had because I think there's a good chance that some of these guys might make it on to that that uh trading block or if not the chop so now we have jamie collins now i know what y'all gonna say jamie collins man what's the problem yes he got kicked out of new england because he was going rogue and doing his own thing he was wilding out acting a fool but then they brought him back and if you look at him he's six foot four 250 he fits that bill that they want i mean let's just be honest that that's the jelani to vibe willie mcginnis type type weight um and he was a second round pick um and you, we know what he did he's a solid player he played for the browns and he moved on but why would they release him and we're going to look at the contract and discuss it now right here at 29 years of age he can still be cut because guess what it's only going to cost them two, $250,000 to release him that's the dead money they save 2.75 million 2.75 million to release this guy now you may be saying to yourself why would they do that he can still be there that's true however they still have a host of other linebackers there um and and one of my name is which is uh elandon roberts who can still step it up and show some things we know what they got in dante hightower we know what they added in chase winovich we know that they got Diedrich uh, rivers i mean we know what they have um so we know that these contracts are things that they're going to look at now we're getting to the bigger picture soon people but i just want you to be aware that this could be another target now we're getting off into philip dorsett wide receiver who was selected in the first round yes the first round out of miami by who the coach uh did not pan out with the coach really really struggled uh it's only five foot ten but he ran a four three three people 
He ran a 4-3-3. Uh, I'm pretty sure Stafford can get the ball ahead of him for the make a catch. But nonetheless, why would he be up for that, that block? Well, they did go out recently and draft Nikhil Harry. They also picked up uh Demarius Thomas and then to add more insult to Philip Dorsett's uh issues they get back Josh Gordon so it's a good chance he's out of there especially with them having Julian Elderman already there and then they drafted a guy this year uh Burroughs Burroughs I'm, I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right so let's look at his contract as you can see, he's 26 years of age. Um, and the first thing you're going to notice is this guy is on the last year of his contract. And if they release him, they get $2.1 million and they only take a $500,000 cap hit. And the thing that he was brought in for was to kind of give them a little bit of a special teams guy and a deep threat with speed, none of which ever occurred. Like, he couldn't even figure out how to run routes with Julian Edelman. But why would the Lions want to take him? Because he can still provide you something on the special teams and with some of the gadget plays like the reverses and the screen plays and stuff like that. And when you got other receivers that can draw attention away from him, like Kenny Galladay, uh, like a um, Marvin Jones, you got a guy you can put in the slot and just send up the field on deep passes and that lifts the top off. So he's a definitely one of those guys I expect to be cut by New England. Now we're going to look at Joe Tunney, offensive lineman, 6'4", 304 pounds, drafted in the third round, 26 years of age. Why are they going to move on from this guy? You got them get rid of a lot of linemen. They're the ones who are picking up a lot of these offensive linemen. I am simply a facilitator to the linemen that they're picking up, okay? Um, so what that tells me is, is, me is, is we just got to look at the contract and we'll get more things answered. Now, at 26 years of age, and yes, he's probably going to be on a starting lineup, but again, if he gets put up for trade or he's released because they have been trying to play around with their offensive line, look at how much money they save. They literally take a $193,000 cap hit, but they save $2,025,000. So that's a lot of money to save to move on from this guy. And I haven't heard anything about him getting a contract yet. And we know New England has had a perfect system to bring in people and move them on. Let's just take a quick look right here, people. Uh, they have $14 million in cap space. With those cuts, they would essentially move their cap space from $14 million to well over $22 million in cap space. And that's not even including the other players that they're going to release. So these are simply the guys that I targeted and said, hey, they fit what we're doing and what I think Matt Patricia will look for as well as Bob Quinn. On top of that, we've had joint practices. So the Lions have seen these guys up close. They practice against them. The head coach has worked with them previously. The general manager has scouted them previously. These are all the things that come into one big melting pot to explain why the Lions would target these players. They need depth at offensive line. They're looking for somebody who can really come in and solidify that offensive line for them. Those guys fit it. They want more depth at cornerback. Well, we know we can get a guy who can do the cornerback. I looked at three things. Who was on the last year of their contract? Uh, who fit a position of need? And who was the most likely person to get cut or put up for trade? And this, I created this list. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to all the DSA members whose channels are linked in my description for this video. Uh, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, don't be no chump, please. Please do your research.